students. How are you all? So let's start organic chemistry of class 12, a very important topic from that and that is chemical test of distinction. And for sure you will get a two or a three mark question related to this content. So let us start with the very first chemical test of distinction and the name of the test is silver nitrate test. This test is also called Bernstein test and it is the characteristic test of haloalkanes. I hope you all know what are haloalkanes. In haloalkanes, the alpha carbon to which the halogen is attached is an sp3 hybridized state. So, this test is given by all those uh, compounds where the alpha carbon is an sp3 hybridized state. And it is used to distinguish between all those pair of organic compounds where the alpha carbon is in sp3 hybridized state versus where it is not in sp3 hybridized state. For example, let's say we have to distinguish between the pair of two organic compounds and that is chloroethane versus chlorobenzene. Let us see the structure of chloroethane. It is CCCN and that of chlorobenzene where you see that the alpha carbon is in sp2 hybridized state. So, when you add silver nitrate, in case of chloroethane, you will get a white precipitate of AgCl. But there will be no observation when you add silver nitrate to chlorobenzene. The reason is that there arises a partial double bond character due to resonance, which makes this carbon halogen bond strong and difficult to be broken, so no precipitate of AgCl appears. Let us look on, move on to another pair and that is benzyl fluoride versus chlorobenzene. Benzyl fluoride, the structure of benzyl fluoride is C6H5CH2Cl. That of chlorobenzene you all know. So, in chlorobenzene again the alpha carbon is in sp2 hybridized state. Whereas just look at the alpha carbon in benzyl fluoride, this benzylic carbon is in sp3 hybridized state. So again, when you add silver nitrate to benzyl fluoride, you will get a white precipitate of AgCl. And no such observation will be obtained in case of chloromines. Let us look at the third set of organic compound, and that is chloroethane versus vinyl chloride. Chloroethane versus vinyl chloride, look at vinyl chloride structure. Again, look at this alpha carbon. It is in state of sp2 hybridization. Therefore, on addition of silver nitrate to this, no observation will appear because again because of resonance there will arise a partial double bond character between the carbon halogen bond. But there will be a appearance of a white precipitate of AgCl on addition of silver nitrate. So, I hope this test is clear to everyone and the test is silver nitrate test. Let us move on to the second test and that is sodium metal test. I am sure that all we all have studied this test in class 10 also and this test is basically used to distinguish between alcohols versus ethers. Suppose you have a set of organic compound that is ethanol and methoxymethane and you are asked to give a chemical test to distinguish between these two compounds. So, Add sodium metal to the sample of both and you will get a brisk effervescence of a colorless, odorless hydrogen gas which burns with a pop sound. In case of alcohol, the reason being is that the OH contains the active or the acidic hydrogen. Therefore, hydrogen gas will be evolved and when you bring a burning splinter near to the mouth of the test tube, it will burn with a pop sound. Ethers do not give this test. The reason being, there is no free hydrogen, active hydrogen attached to oxygen. Rather, it is bonded to the carbon atoms attached on either side of bivalent oxygen. Okay? So, this, remember this test is the second test and that is sodium metal test. A test basically used to distinguish between alcohols versus ethers. Let us move on to the third, third test, children. And that is the Lucas test. Lucas test is a chemical test to distinguish between 1 degree, 2 degree, 3 degree alcohols on addition of Lucas reagent. Let us learn what is Lucas reagent. Lucas reagent is a mixture of anhydrous ZnCl2 and concentrated HCl. So, 
The observation of this test is that when you add glucose reagent to 3 degree alcohol, you will get turbidity. Now, what is the meaning of turbidity? Turbidity means milkiness. And milkiness appears because of the formation of chloroalkanes. From alcohols, chloroalkanes are formed because when you are adding a concentrated HCl, it is giving rise to the formation of chloroalkane. So, turbidity or milkiness appears of chloroalkanes, remember. So, in addition of Lucas reagent to 3 degree alcohol, turbidity will appear instantly. On addition of Lucas reagent to 2 degree alcohol, it will appear after 5 to 10 minutes. Whereas, when you add Lucas reagent to 1 degree alcohol, you will get turbidity after 30 minutes or after prolonged heating. So, the time taken for turbidity to appear is the basis to distinguish between 1 degree, 2 degree and 3 degree alcohols. Let us now move on to the fourth test and that is iodoform test. This is the characteristic test for compounds containing CH3CHOH group and those containing CH3CO that means this test is given by two alls and those carbonic compounds which have a methyl keto group in them. For example, if we are asked to distinguish between a pair of two compounds, propane 1 all and propane 2 all. Let us look at the structures of propane 1 all and propane 2 all. Propane 2 all is containing CH3CHOH group. So in addition of NaOH and iodine, to both these samples, you will get a yellow precipitate of CHI3 called iodoform in propane 2 all. The reason? It is containing CH3CHOH group. And this test can also be used to distinguish between a pair of propanol and propanol. Let us look at the structures of propanol, CH3CH2CHO and propanol. The common or the trivial name of propanone, remember, is acetone. The structure is CH3COCH3. And let us look at the structure and locate the presence of CH3CO group in it. That is the methyl keto group. It is present in propanone, absent in propanol. So, in addition of the reagent used for iodoform test, which is NaOH and IOD you will get a yellow precipitate of CHI3 that is iodoform in case of propanone but no such precipitate will appear in case of propanone. So I hope this test is clear to everyone and this is a very important test called iodoform test and there is a probability of getting question based on this chemical test of distinction in your forthcoming board examination. Let us move on to the next test now and the name of the test is neutral ferric chloride test. Remember this neutral ferric chloride test is the characteristic test for phenols. For example, you are asked to distinguish between a mixture of phenol and ethanol. You can apply neutral ferric chloride test and neutral ferric chloride to both the samples in case of phenol, the observation you will get, remember, is the appearance of a green or a violet color. No such observation will appear in case of ethanol. So, remember this neutral ferric chloride test is the characteristic test for phenol. It is again a very important test. Let us now move on to the next test and the name of the test is Tollens test. Tollens test, remember, is also called silver mirror test and it is the characteristic test given by both aliphatic as well as aromatic aldehydes. So Tollens test, how to perform this test, let us first see what is Tollens reagent, a reagent which brings about this test. The composition of Tollens reagent is ammonical silver nitrate solution. The formula, if you look at Ag NH3 whole twice plus, this is Tollens region. Suppose you have to distinguish between a pair of ethanol versus propanone. So this is this is the structure.
structure of ethanol, CH3, C double bond O, H. And this is the structure of propanone, CH3, CO, CH3. This propanone is a ketone, first member of the ketone homologous series. And this ethanol belongs to the aldehyde homologous series. So add Collins reagent to both these samples, you will get appearance of shiny silver mirror on the walls of the test tube in case of ethanol, which is an aldehyde, but no such observation you will get in case of ketone, that is propanone. So remember, Tollis test, which is the silver mirror test, is the characteristic test of aliphatic and aromatic aldehydes. Let us now move on to another test, and that is the felling test. It is the characteristic test for exclusively aliphatic aldehydes. Note down, aromatic aldehydes will not give this test. In felling test, we, we use felling solution, which is a combination of two different felling solutions. Felling A, comprising of aqueous copper sulfate. Felling B, comprising of alkaline solution of Rochelle salt. So, for example, you are asked to distinguish between a pair acetaldehyde versus benzaldehyde. Acetaldehyde is an aliphatic aldehyde, benzaldehyde is an aromatic aldehyde. So, when you add felling A and B mixture to aldehyde, acetaldehyde, it will give you a red precipitate of cuprous oxide, Cu2O. No such observation you will get on addition of felling solution to benzaldehyde. Since it is an aromatic aldehyde, the reason for this not giving the observation is this, that there is resonance and because of the resonance stabilization, the felling solution being a mild oxidizing agent will not give any observation in case of benzaldehyde. This was the felling test. Let us now move on to the next test, which is the sodium bicarbonate test. It is the characteristic test for carboxylic acids. For example, if you are asked to distinguish between a pair of ethanoic acid versus ethyl ethanoic. Ethyl ethanoic is an ester. Ethanoic acid has a structure CH3COOH. So, since sodium bicarbonate test is the characteristic test for carboxylic acid, on adding sodium bicarbonate, you may add sodium carbonate as well you will get a brisk effervescence of a colorless, odorless gas which when pass through lime water will turn lime water milky. But no such observation on addition of sodium carbonate or sodium bicarbonate will appear in case of esters. Let us now move on to the next test of distinction and that is carbonamine test, also called isocyanide test. It is the characteristic test for aliphatic or aromatic amines, primary amines. The amines should be 1 degree, then only they will give this carbon amine test. For example, if you are asked to distinguish between ethanamine versus N-methyl ethanamine. Look at the structure of ethanamine, CH3, CH2, NH2. N-methyl ethanamine, which is a 2 degree amine, CH3, NH, CH3. On addition of the reagents responsible for carbonamine test, the reagents are chloroform and KOH. When you add chloroform and KOH to ethanamine, you get a foul or offensive smell in case of ethanamine and no observation in case of N-methylmethanamine, which is a 2 degree amine. Next test is Hinsberg test. Hinsberg test is the characteristic test to distinguish between 1 degree, 2 degree, 3 degree amines. Hinsberg test involves the Hinsberg reagent. Hinsberg reagent is actually benzene sulfonate chloride. Look at the structure C6H5 SO2Cl is the structure of benzene sulfonate chloride which is actually Hinsberg reagent. On addition of Hinsberg reagent to 1 degree amine, you will get a salt soluble in KOH. On addition of Hensberg reagent to 2 degree amine, you will get an insoluble salt. Whereas on addition of Hensberg reagent to 3 degree amine, you will not get any observation. So this was the Hensberg test, which is the characteristic test to distinguish between 1 degree, 2 degree, 3 degree amines. Let's now conclude with the last chemical test of distinction. And the name of the test is azodite test. It is a characteristic test for 
1 degree aromatical means. For example, if you are asked to distinguish between aniline versus n methyl aniline, aniline is a 1 degree aromatic amine, n methyl aniline is a 2 degree amine. So, when you add BBC to aniline, you will get yellow dye being formed, but no such observation you will get in case of n methyl aniline. So this was the last test. The name of the test is azo dye test. Actually, it is a combination of two tests, dye azotization followed by coupling. It is the exclusive test of primary aromatic amines. So it is used to distinguish between 1 degree aromatic amines versus 1 degree aliphatic amines. Now let us, after we have studied all the chemical tests, let us see what type of pairs we often get in the exams. So let us practice a few. First pair is ethanol versus methanol. Ethanol will give you hydroform test on addition of NaOH and I2 you will get a yellow PPT of hydroform in case of ethanol but no such observation you will get in case of methanol. The next pair is aniline versus ethanamine. Aniline versus ethanamine we can apply as a diet test since I said Aniline being a 1 degree aromatic amine on addition of benzene diazonium chloride, BDC, will form a yellow colored dye. No such observation will appear in case of addition of BDC to ethanamine since ethanamine is aliphatic 1 degree amine. The next pair is acetophenone versus benzophenone. Let us look at the structure of acetophenone and benzophenone. And acetophenone you can see contains a methyl keto group, CH3CO group attached to the benzene ring. So on addition of NaOH and iodine, you will get a yellow precipitate of hydroform. So hydroform test is a positive test for acetophenone but not given by benzophenone due to absence of CH3CO that is methyl keto group. The next in the series we have a very unusual pair remember. Formic acid versus acetic acid. We cannot apply sodium bicarbonate test for this since both are carboxylic acid, so both will give a brisk effervescence of CO2 gas. So if you look at the structure of formic acid, you will find that it contains a free aldehyde group, CHO group. So when you add Collins reagent, a molecule silver nitrate, it will form a shiny silver mirror, but no such observation will appear in case of acetic acid. Let us look at the next pair, isopropyl alcohol and tertiary butyl alcohol. Isopropyl alcohols, the structure is CH3, CH, OH, CH3. It is a 2 degree alcohol. So we can apply Lucas test. Since tertiary butyl alcohol is a 3 degree alcohol and isopropyl alcohol is a 2 degree alcohol, when you add Lucas reagent, you will see turbidity appearing in 5 to 10 minutes in isopropyl alcohol and appearing immediately or instantly in case of tertiary butyl alcohol, which is a 3 degree alcohol. Also, we can apply hydroform test in this, which will be given by isopropyl alcohol. The reason is that it contains CH3, CHOH group. And you will get the yellow PPT of CHI3 hydroform in addition of NH and I2. The next pair, let us look at acetaldehyde versus acetone. Acetaldehyde belongs to aldehyde homologous series. Acetone belongs to ketone homologous series. So we can apply the Tollens test. Tollens test, that is the silver mirror test, when you add Tollens reagent to acetaldehyde, you will get a shiny silver mirror. But acetone being a ketone will not give 